So, as mentioned in the previous video, economics is social science that studies a particular activity and a particular aspect of human behavior. Uh, so, we are a social science, uh, but we are also a social science that advises people on what to do, especially on policy matters. We talk to governments, we talk to businesses, we talk to consumers, we talk to voters, and we tell you what we think you should do. Right? Which means, as policy makers, we need to be really transparent about what's going on. So, in order to understand this, we're going to start first with a very famous distinction in economics, which is called the positive normative distinction. Now, this distinction, in case you're interested in the history, uh, was put forward by John Neville Keynes, a very famous political economist, even though we mostly remember his son, John Maynard Keynes, who was the architect and founder of what we will know as macroeconomics. So if you follow up this class, follow micro with macro, you're going to hear the work of John Maynard Keynes. But this is his dad, John Neville Keynes. And this distinction was very important contribution that he made. So what is this? The idea behind the distinction is that when we as economists provide policy solutions, we need to distinguish between two things. The normative is what we think should happen. So normative is your ethics, your values, your goals, your sort of desires, where you say, I feel society should address these issues. I feel society should look like this. I feel this is what we have to do. The positive is a description of what society is. I'm not saying I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying this is what it is. So the positive side of economics is descriptive. It uses statistics, it uses experiments, it uses data, it uses models. But essentially, this part is descriptive. It, it sort of tries to describe what the world looks like. And because we are a social science, it also depends on our assumptions. about the world. And by assumptions, I don't mean values. I just mean, what do you think people are doing? Right? So that is the positive side. And hopefully, when you do micro, you will get more of that. But we will also do the normative side, which is that, OK, you've described society. I'm not sure I like it. Uh, some of you may not like it for left-wing reasons. Some of you may not like, like it for right-wing reasons. That's a different question. That's your values. You know, this is what society is like. I would like it to look different. I would like something else. So policy is the art. Of 
of using what you know about society to figure out what you can do to get us where we want. So as you can see, there are two dimensions to this debate. We can dispute each other on what our values and goals are. That is one thing. We can also dispute each other on whether we are giving an accurate representation of society, describing how society works in the right way. That is another thing. So you put these together, tons of normative dimensions, and this, as it happens, tons of debates and disputes about whether economics is a science that has done well in accurately depicting what the world looks like. You put those together, you can imagine just how vast this field is. So we are just going to have a little drop of it in this class, but the more you go ahead with your education, the more you take more classes, the more you will encounter this diversity of thought. And this should hopefully help you understand how to sort out, is it that my professor is using a different descriptive model? Is it that my professor has different ethical goals? Is it both? What's going on? So the next two units are going to give us a bit of a deep dive into normative and positive. So we can learn more about how economists think of these two things.